XX Hello Glow fam, Vince here and in today's video, sobrang excited ko kasi finally, we're going to enter the makeup realm. This is gonna be the first ever video na gagawa ko ng makeup tutorial and this will be the first step sa great journey na tatahakin itong beauty channel na to. So if you're a makeup junkie, a professional makeup artist, or simple lang tao lang na mahilig mag makeup, then sit back and relax. In today's video, we're gonna do a simple, easy, day-to-day -day glam look that you can wear if you're going to the mall, going to the palenque, going to school, bibili ng corned beef, or kung ano mga day-to-day -day activities nyo. All the products that I'm gonna use will be listed on the description box down below. You can follow me on my social media accounts, everything will be up here and down below. And don't forget to click the bell notification icon so that you will be updated every time I upload a brand new video. So without further ado, let's glow. Hello. So first, to prime our face, gagamit tayo ng Caroline Blur Stick. Now, dati hindi ko alam na meron palang Caroline Blur Stick. Ang alam ko lang meron silang Rose Stick. Pero nung pumunta ako ng Mercury Drug, may nakita akong Blur Stick. And sabi ko parang, Ay talaga, may Blur Stick sila. So, try nga natin to. Tingnan natin kung totoo na so, binili ko siya. I think I got this for 199 pesos. And simula nun, ito na yung ginagamit ko. So, ilalagay lang natin siya sa areas na medyo prominent yung pores. Tapos, spread lang natin using the fingers. Medyo waxy yung feel niya, pero hindi siya nakakairita sa mukha. For foundation today, I'm using the Maybelline New York Fit Me Foundation and I'm in the shade 228 or Soft Tan. So, ilalagay lang natin siya sa glass palette muna. Dalawang pump kasi ayaw naman natin maging super plakado na mukha tayo magna night out pag lumabas tayo ng bahay. So, I like putting my foundation first using a brush. This one, I got this from BTLA. Gusto ko una brush para makakover niya lahat ng mga hinanakit natin sa buhay. So, kuha lang tayo then. Let's supply. Then huwag nyo rin kakalimutan lagyan yung tenga nyo at yung leeg para hindi magkaiba yung kulay ng mukha nyo at saka nung leeg nyo. Now na nalagay ko na yung foundation using a brush, i-blend lang natin siya para seamless yung pagkakalagay using a damp sponge. Ngayon na tapos na tayo mag-blend, maglalagay na tayo ng concealer. For concealer today, I'm using the Maybelline New York Put Me Concealer and I'm in the shade Sand. As you can see, sobrang konti na lang ng concealer ko, pero ginagamit ko pa rin siya hanggat meron pa. <laughs> Sayang kasi. Ngayon, hindi tayo maliligo ng concealer. Medyo spot correcting lang yung gagawin natin. Tapos, maglalagay lang tayo to highlight the face. So using the same sponge to ginamit nyo for foundation, let's blend. Ngayon na everything is blended out kung paano ko siya gusto. Ayaw naman natin mag-move or mag-crease yung mga cream products na nilagay natin sa mukha. So first, I'm using the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder and I'm using the shade Translucent with Extra Coverage. Sobrang hirap nung una humanap ng Cody Airspun. Nag-try akong magpunta sa makeup section ng department store. Wala akong nakita kahit sa SM. Pero, pero pinim ko si Kenny Manalad sa Instagram and fortunately, nag-reply siya. So sabi niya sa akin, I can get a legit one from Beauty Manila. So nagpunta agad ako sa website nila. Tapos, I bought one. Sobrang bilis ng delivery 
like, I'm not really sure, but parang one or two days lang na deliver sa akin agad yung Coty Air Spanko. So thank you, Beauty Manila. So since medyo light tong powder na to, I'm only gonna put it dun sa areas na nilagyan natin ng concealer. And to set the rest of the face, I'm using the powder ng Bayan, ang Nichido Final Powder, and I'm using the shade Creamy Glow. Again, huwag nyo kakalimutan lagyan yung leeg para pantay yung kulay nyo. Ngayon na mukha na tayong espasol, i-brush off lang natin yung excess powder using a powder brush. I got this brush from BTLA. Sobrang cute niya and sobrang useful niya para sa akin. Now that we're all done with the base, next up, yung brows. For brows today, I'm using the brows on fleek. And I'm in the shade Dark Brown. I got this product sa Lazada. Para siyang brow clay. Actually, medyo paubos na siya. And I think I need to get a new one. So yun, super favorite ko to. Ito yung lagi kong ginagamit sa kilay ko. Pero hindi ko alam kung dapat na ba ako mag-move on. Dahil ang dami-dami ko pang pang kilay dito na pwedeng gamitin. Or bibili na lang ako ng isa pa. If you're using brows on fleek, sound off down below. So first, what I like to do is ibabrush off ko muna yung kilay ko using a spoolie to remove any excess powders. As you can see, sobrang kapala ng kilay ko, so hindi ko na siya masyadong kinakapalan pa. So using another brush, just get a product. Tapos, let's do the outline first. Tapos yung mga natirang product, i-brush up lang natin sa may inner part ng brows. Let's do the same thing sa kabilang kilay. Now to make sure that everything is blended out and mababrush off natin yung excess product, just get a spoolie and i-brush lang natin yung desired shape natin. Medyo bushy yung gusto kong shape nung kilay ko palagi. Now that we're done with the brows, next up would be the eyes. For today's video, hindi tayo maglalagay ng eyeshadow, pero we'll make sure na defined pa rin yung lashes natin. As you saw earlier, nagmukha tayong espasol dahil sa dami ng powder na nilagay natin. So to make sure na matatanggal yun and on fleek pa rin yung lashes natin, first, we're gonna curl our lashes. Now this time we have the option to use either a mascara or a gel. For today I'm using the Maybelline New York Brow Drama in the shade Transparent. Now this one is a Sculpting Brow Mascara, pero ginagamit ko siya sa lashes para matanggal yung mga extra powder. Sobrang daming clear mascara na available sa market ngayon, so I'm sure meron kayo mabibili. Now that we're done with the lashes, it's time to put color to the face. For contour, I'm using the Vice Cosmetics Outer Contour in the shade Porosur. Now, I really think sobrang ganda ng shade na to, especially sa mga medyo moreno like me. Hindi siya sobrang intense, and hindi rin siya sobrang light. So, using a brush na nabili ko sa SM, hindi ko kasi alam kung paano i-describe yung mga brush. Alam mo yung pag nanonood ka ng mga beauty guru sa Amerika, lahat ng brush nila may pangalan. M225, M102. Yung sa akin, yung brush na nabili ko sa SM. So, kung wala lang tayo ng product, tap off the excess. Idab lang natin sa mukha. 
For me, sobrang ganda nitong shade na to, especially sa mga moreno or mga morena out there. Hindi tayo magmumukhang sunog na sunog. Medyo medium rare lang. Kung gusto nyo magmukhang chiseled yung look nyo, maglagay din kayo sa ilalim ng jawline. Now, I'm sure ayaw nyo magkaroon ng streak ng brown line sa ilalim ng jawline nyo. So, i-blend nyo lang siya pababa. Now, using the same product, since wala tayong pang parinoplasty, at malapad yung ilong natin, gawin natin siyang snatched. Yung manipis na manipis na manipis. Using the same product with a different brush, kukuha lang ako ng konting konti, tap off the excess, and ilagay na natin. Siyempre, ayaw natin magkaroon ng isang line lang dyan, so i-blend natin yung contour hanggang papaloob ng ating brows. Kung gusto nyo ng mas manipis, huwag kayong magsettle dito lang sa linya. Iangat nyo pa yung linya hanggang sa parang line na lang yung makita nyo dun sa ilong nyo. Para sa akin, nalalakihan ako dun sa tip ng nose ko. So ang ginagawa ko, kinaklose ko yung contour dito. But, if you're the type of person at sobrang liit lang ng tip ng nose nyo, you don't have to do this. Using our fingers, si even out lang natin yung sides. Now that we're done with contour, next up would be the blush. For today, I'm using the Vice Cosmetics Aura Blush in the shade Title. This shade is also really, really good para sa mga medyo moreno or medyo morena out there. Sobrang ganda niya sa balat. Hindi parang peking pula yung pagka-blush mo. Mukha kang natural. So, using my Gosh Blusher 009. Wow, may pangalan yung brush. Ito lang yung may pangalan. Kuha lang tayo ng product. Tap off the excess. Tapos, i-dab lang natin sa cheeks. Now, kung gusto nyo naman ma-achieve yung drunk blush look na usong-uso ngayon, kuha ka pa ng konti. Tapos, lagay mo lang yung inner corner malapit sa nose mo. Maglagay ka rin sa tip ng nose. Konti sa forehead. The chin. And that's it. Now, if you're feeling a little extra, maglalagay tayo ng highlight. For highlighter, today I'm using the EB Advance Glow Out Highlighter in the shade Strobe. Now, using a fan brush na nabili ng kapatid ko sa isang market sa Paranaque, kuha lang tayo ng konti. Tap off. Then, let's glow. Ooh. Now, using a smaller brush, kukuha lang ulit tayo. And maglalagay tayo sa tip ng nose. Ngayon, ayaw naman natin lumabas ng sobrang putla. So, maglalagay tayo ng lip tint. So, today, I'm using the Color Boost Lip Tint. Wala na siya. Nabura na yung pangalan niya. I got this from Lazada. I'm just gonna put the link down below kung gusto niyo rin to. What I like about this product is as in liquid form talaga siya. Hindi siya gel type or hindi rin siya lipstick. Liquid form siya, so pag natuyo siya, sobrang lapat na lapat. And hindi siya malagkit. So what I do is I take the cap off, kuha ko ng product using a brush, then let's apply. Sobrang dry ng lips ko.
After that, if you want a little bit of shine, you can put on a lip gloss. For gloss today, I'm using the EB Advance Vinyl Lip Gloss. Vinyl ba o vinyl? Vinyl. To finish off this look, para magset lahat ng powder na nilagay mo to make it one with a skin, we're gonna set the face using the Nichido Matte Finish Makeup Setting Spray. And we're done. And that's it for today's video guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, suggestions, or requests, don't forget to sound off down below. XXOO Glow Fam, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.